beautiful people of the interwebs. Welcome back to both of us, of course. Um, let's see. Uh, love the music. Do you ever just like start up Skyrim and just leave the menu open by like <laughs> you do stuff? She's like, I'm gonna play Skyrim eventually, but first I'm gonna listen to this really awesome music while like, I don't know, I tidy or dust something. So it feels super epic. Nope, that's just me. Okay. Fine. Hey, look! The horn of Jurgen Windcaller! I don't have that. Right, so here we are in the scary swampies. I think that dragonfly just came out of my chest. That was horrifying. Um, and it's daytime, which is good, because this will give us an opportunity to drive you insane trying to find that dead body. I think it was over by these pillars. Well, that's where I was looking before anyway. Uh, it was dark and I know Skyrim is actually pretty light at night, but, um, oh, hello, novice necromancer. Oh, vampire dust. Well, I have some new ingredients, huh? Nothing like just jumping right in and not saying anything to you about it. Ew. That looks tasty. All right, never mind. Some grapes. I'm gonna save it to last. Yeah, I powder that up and have a little large antler powder. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey, I feel much better. Oh, well, if I can eat powdered antler, I guess I can eat some dust of a vampire. Hey, I'm invisible! Probably should have done that first, and then that way no one could see me eating random things in the middle of the swamp like a freak. Some cultures consider eyes of various creatures a delicacy. I feel strangely strong after- yeah, that makes sense, actually. It's exactly the sort of thing that they would powder and they would sell in, like, pill form for 20 bucks and say, like, it increases your stamina. <clears throat> yeah, and then I'll save this one to last because it's probably tasty. Okay. Shows what I know. Oh. Let me just follow that up with a little wine. Or a lot of wine. Uh, so, and the other thing I wanted to do, actually, before we leave this area, since she was in there for like 21 hours or something like that, um, probably just have a little bit of a rest before heading off to solitude. She's probably pretty tired. Exhausted would probably be the word, in fact. But yeah, and that, wow, look at all the butterflies, it just makes me to run and chase them, but I know that my aim is shit, and I won't be able to get any of them, or maybe just one. So many butterflies, though. I can't help it, I'm gonna try anyway. Ooh, I got one. Ah! 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 I got three. He's like, oh no! I'll hide here, she'll never see me. Oh, oh, did he get away? Oh, that was calling the herd. You're the smart one, huh? That's good. Wow, and then there's all these blue ones. What's with all the butterflies in the swamp? Is that a thing? I don't know. I haven't spent much time in swamps. I always thought butterflies were more of a flower loving species. We're going to hide atop these pillars. Smart butterfly. Um, and... Okay, so I'll just over there. 
So yeah, I think that Risha is going to go to Solitude just because it's a big city. And um, she did pick up quite a lot of stuff. She's, got, she's carrying around 221... I always say pounds, but it doesn't actually say what their unit of weight measurement is. I've heard other people call it points. Okay, something went wrong here. Floaty rock with... What was that sound? Uh, with a shadow. That's not how rocks work, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm no geologist. But still. Ugh, everything's so swampy. Try not to get too soaked. So, um, hey, maybe I could finish a sentence. That'd be good. I keep interrupting myself with new sentences. I'm sure that's frustrating to listen to. So yeah, she's gonna go to Solitude because it's a big city. She has a lot of uh, crap that she picked up that she could sell. Ugh. Like wet. Um, is that the canister over there? And I think also some stuff that she can. No, it's a. Uh... What? <gasps> Spiders. And also some things that she can improve. Savalok will take your souls if he can find you. Shit. Mr. Tough Spider's over here. Ah, oh, my conjuration is only 19. As much as I conjure my puppy. Did you get one of them, puppy? Did you get them both? Or three of them? I think there were three of them. Good job. He's so proud of himself. Where am I going? Over there. Not really over there, because I can't... There should be a big ladder. That would be great. Don't mind me. I don't actually want your soul. You're just kind of in the way. Collateral damage. Hey! What? Oh. <laughs> I love the way my familiar purrs. <laughs> that genuinely startled me. Why do I have a shield? I must have been some spider webs. Let's do that. What's He's in the game, right? It's alright, somebody's just breaking down my door. It's fine. I don't think you guys should be drinking this water. That doesn't seem very safe to me. Splash! Oh wow, an icy swamp, eh? Is that even a thing? I guess maybe, sometimes. No. What's that? Oh, really? All those scary sounds, jeez. That canister root. There we go. I don't think we want to go in there. Well, I know, maybe you do, honey, but I just came out of a place like that. Honestly, I'm a little tired of walking skeletons and other undead things. Just a little camp. Ooh. 
Give it a year. Horrible sound. Danas Balan's journal. 18th of Morningstar, 4E201. How long has it been since I first heard the Galdar legend? 80 years? 100? Okay. I can think of nothing else now. My goal is at hand. After years of searching, I finally traced the Ivory Claw to a collector in Bravel. His death was necessary. But I have it. At last, I have it. 22nd of Morningstar. Three days of non-stop riding, I reached Anvil ahead of my pursuers and took passage on the Ice Runner, bound for solitude once more. 29th. The other passengers are becoming suspicious. Returning from dinner, I caught one brute rooting around in my quarters. He almost found the claw. Had the captain not intervened, I would have flayed him alive. I hope to spend the voyage sequestered in my room, reviewing my notes and preparing spells, but I need to deflect some attention from myself. I'll have to mingle, pretend to be just another petty mage for now. Second of Sun's Dawn. The brute claims to be an adventurer, off to seek his fortune in the ruins of Skyrim with his companions. Perhaps I could turn this to my advantage, use them as fodder for the traps and Draeger within the tombs. I could see the greed in his eyes. Yes, that should work. Three weeks to solitude, the captain says. If I have to suffer these fools longer than that, I'll swim. 27th of Sunstone. Jeez. With the brute and his companions in tow, I led our band across the marsh to Fulgunther, where we made camp for the night. Okay. Little has changed since my first expedition ten years ago, but this time I have the claw, and I will have the amulet. I spent all night preparing a synopsis of my notes in case some fragment of the tale or piece of ancient lore may be needed to bypass the wards within the tomb. Then I cast all my books and scrolls into the fire and reduced my life's work to ashes. At long last, today is a day of reckoning. If I cannot have the amulet, no one will. He sounds evil. He's like a murderer. What day is today? 31st of last seed. Well, then he's been in there in a while, or he's already gone. So I guess I might as well take his provisions. Are they both empty? I can't tell. Oh, another free bed, if need be. Okay. Well, I don't know about the claw or the amulet or any of that stuff. I'm trying to make it solitude. It seems like they should be an easier way. I'm having to go all the way down. Like, why isn't there a bridge? Right? There should be a bridge. But there isn't one. And it's weird. Wow. So the deer decided to swim. So I come done my shopping. 